Hi everybody! I know we've been missing in action for a while now from publishing new videos every week, but for all those who have been requesting, I promise you we are back on track. We just took a short break to focus on our YouTube partner program. So next up, we bring to you Namibia. Namibia is a much loved destination of mine, simply because of its heritage. It is so diverse from all of its ethnic groups, traditions, landscapes, food, music, etc. It is a country of infinite opportunities. Each cultural group has its unique traditions and cultural traits that contribute to the richness of Namibia's heritage. The Himba, for instance, are easily recognized by their skin rubbed with red ochre and matted hair braids. Some even say the Himba have the appearance of having been forgotten by the rest of the world. Observance of cultural traditions is very important to the Herero, a Bantu speaking with European influence nation. The San, a small ethnic group numbering about 40,000, are more formally known as Bushmen. I am sure you have heard the term hunter gatherers, living off of the land. Namibia's wildlife is extraordinary, with lion, leopard, cheetah, elephant, antelope such as the oryx, and its own unique blend of desert inhabitants. From its furry crawling caterpillars to snakes such as the sidewinder, a designed ambush hunter of the dune lands, amongst other southern African snake species. Of interest, Namibia is the only coastal desert in the world and home to sea life such as the Cape Cross seal colony. The southern region is dominated by open spaces, solitude and silence. It offers an assortment of attractions unique to the area, including historical buildings, fossils, ghost towns and quiver tree forests. Dead flame, a dead marsh is a highlight with its pure white clay floor and dead camel thorn tree trunks, thought to be hundreds of years old. The dunes make up 35% of the desert and the best time to visit the area is early morning when the light catches the dunes and allows the opportunity to gather some brilliant photographs. The Skeleton Coast? Name derives from the whale and seal bones that once littered the shores. It is also associated with shipwrecks and stories of sailors walking through the desert in search of food and water. Ah, the Fish River Canyon, rugged and stark, the second largest canyon in the world, and it is found in the southern part of Namibia's longest river, the Fish River. Twayfelfontein, a UNESCO site situated in Tomorrowland, has one of the largest concentrations of rock petroglyphs in Africa. It is estimated that there are approximately 2,500 different rock engravings. So, without further ado, I hope you love Namibia as much as I do and the content we will bring you.